everybody, welcome to G Myers World. Today we're going to be talking about EA banning your account for buying Mutt coins. Now, this question was asked to me by a viewer that um, he's had his account banned in the past. He's actually um, said that he's not going to be doing it anymore. Um, he actually DM'd me, and um, you know, I looked at the comment, and I'm like, you know what? I have to address it because what happens is a lot of the newer players that come in, uh, people don't really like to address this for sim simple reasons. Uh, you, you don't want to affect other people that are making money off of it, which I don't want to affect that. But when people are asking me the question, right, and they want to understand what's the risk, if I'm in a position to let you guys know if there's a risk for it, I think I'm kind of obligated to do that because you watch my videos to try to learn about the game. I don't want you to go and do something that somebody else is telling you to do, and then you end up getting banned, and you're like, yo, you know what? Um, I asked him about it, and he never said anything. You see what I'm saying? Because... If you're doing something that's dangerous, like farming, farming is like against the terms of service, but a lot of you guys have done it and you, it, it's, I don't know how they exactly find out. I don't know how they keep track of it. So it's pretty hard for me to explain, you know, with the farming situation, but with buying coins, I've had at least, um, this year, 15 guys that watch my stream on a regular basis be banned from the auction house or banned for a little bit. Nobody got console banned to my knowledge, but they were banned from the auction house and they lost their team and their whole team became Nats. Um, but they still were able to, you know, after that time frame was up, they were still able to log on and start over again. Okay. So let's talk about this. You know, what I, what I said, this quote, okay, my account is banned. All right. You know, what am I going to do right now? All right. So look, pretty much what happens is this, right? When Madden is released as much as everybody is whining about how bad Madden was the previous year, like, you know how I rage about it and stuff like that, but I always tell you I'm going to buy it anyway. Some people say, Bro, I'm not getting it. I don't care, whatever. I never lie to you guys. I tell you, while I'm raging, I can't wait for the next year because I'm a complete idiot and I just want to keep getting the pain, bro. I'm just seeing that maybe one day they'll, you know, give us something that we all can, you know, work with. Maybe Madden 19 is the year, but I tell you, I'm going to buy it anyway. I'll pre-order it 19 times, bro. I don't care. But some people that feel that they're not going to be involved in the game and then they decide later, like, you know, three months in, like, yo, I want to play they miss out on a lot of other things that are going on, all right? Like a lot of the promos that are released, they miss out on it. So they're not able to get some of the free stuff that goes on. They feel like they don't have, you know, there's nothing available for me to do. I got to find a way to be able to, you know, successfully get my coins up. So what do they do? They go to a coin selling site and they're like, yo, you know what? I need these coins. Then what happens? They get an email from EA saying, yo, look, bro, it looks like you've been doing something cray. You know what I'm saying? Like, they literally say cray. Like, I don't know if they say cray. I don't know. I never got the email. But, look, look bro, yo, we got you. you. You feel me? Like, bro, when you log in, you're not going to really be logged in, though. That's what happens. And it becomes a situation where it's like, all right, I want to get a card, so I'm willing to risk it. So if something comes out, like I said, a lot of you guys that delay and wait, whatever, you're like, all right, bro, I need this 500K right now because I want this specific card. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want... Whoever is available right now at this 99. And keep in mind, this is early in the year, so all the prices are up. All right, look, like some, some idiot still has this guy for one something, one point something million because he was a limited time card. People think they really want Michael Irvin. I don't know what idiot is thinking this, but this card sucks. But we're never going to worry about it. Let's just say, for instance, like, yo, it's 1.4 million and it's like, you know, a, a limited edition uh, Calvin Johnson early in the year, right? And you want that. And you don't have the coins. And you're not willing to grind it out and play solos. You're not willing to go to the auction house. You're not willing to, you know what I'm saying, and snipe. You're not willing to go to item sets and make tokens or make whatever's there. You're not willing to put the work in. You want to take the easy road. So you simply go and you, you know, you're like, what, bro, I'm, I'm going to find me somebody that's selling some coins. I'm going to, you know, go and look at what's going on and I'm going to find a way to get some coins. All right? That's not, that's not permitted with their terms of service. So... It's always a risk involved in doing it. And I'm trying to be, listen, I don't want for any reason you guys to not understand that EA is not playing games. EA is so serious about this. Let me, let me tell you something real quick, right? Look, let me tell you how ill this is. Real, like, I think I have this, um, I, I got to see if I can link the video on Twitch. I had a viewer, like, in uh, November of last year. I think I might have uh, made it like a highlight. He came into me, and he's like, bro, they banned my account, and I don't know why, right? So peep this, because uh, EA helped respond to whatever like that, I was able, you know, the guy gave me his information, we were DMing or whatever like that, and I was able to get EA help from the account, you know what I'm saying, like trying to figure out what was going on. Bruh, 
not only was this dude selling coins or, or receiving coins or whatever, they had a whole track record of all kinds of ridiculous um, trades and stuff that he was doing. So look, this is the situation, right? If EA feels that you're trading and like somebody trades you a card, right? Because like this year, when you traded, the card automatically became net, right? What happens is this. You can still buy a card and get the trade and it's net, and you can continue to do that all the time and EA will think. Maybe it's not necessarily true that you are buying the card, but if you keep getting Nats and you're just stacking your team with it, they review that. They look at that like, yo, hold on, wait a minute. This guy keeps trading for these high elite cards and I don't understand what's going on. You start to assume like, yo, hold on. What is this dude doing? That's what this guy was doing. So he thought that that wasn't considered a form of, you know, trading coins or whatever like that. But how it was explained to me is when they monitor it, they're like, yo, hold on. How is this guy just continuously getting all these high overalls and he's not lending them back? Remember, they kept the trade block in to kind of help people because, you know, like back in the day, right, when you had those solos where you had to get your team to a 99, if you had a decent friend that you weren't trying to scam because most of you guys are scammers, um, they would lend you the card, you would play the solo and give the card back and it would still be auctionable, tradable, whatever. Madden 18, when you trade it, it's not. So that way it kind of prevents you from trying to scam somebody. But people will still keep the card. And keep their team a high overall. Because most of the guys that do this, they're, they're not really up, you know, they're not upfront guys. Most of the people in the community, are like, they're really, really wild when it comes to stuff like that. And you can't trust anyone. Which I tell you guys, don't trade, don't do any of that stuff, bro. You know, all you guys offer me stuff and I tell you guys no, it's to protect both of us. Because I don't want to put myself in the situation where I get involved with guys that are doing all these shenanigans. So for the most part, I, I don't think, did I even borrow a card this entire, I don't think I, I borrowed a card this entire year. Madden 17 I did because it wasn't as strict and crazy, but this year I don't think I did that. I don't think I borrowed any cards from anyone. So getting back to the whole coin thing, right? It's different versions of it. You can literally buy the coins by, you know, you go and you make a deal with some, some uh, you know, whatever, coin seller or whatever, and then you post a card that's ridiculously um, wild, you know what I'm saying, in price or whatever, and you can sell it that way and they'll buy it, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just simply, you know, they, they, they'll put a card up or whatever like that at a certain value, and then you'll get the coins. Whichever way it goes, it's very, very simple. But they'll tell you the card that it is after you, you know, whatever, um, you purchase whatever. They'll, they'll tell you the amount and how you can get it, and then it's very, very simple how they do it. But like I said, whichever way you get the coins, bro, just remember this, right? When you buy the coins, you have to understand that it's all being monitored. Now, a lot of you guys that do it, you probably won't get caught. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't know that it's not permitted. You see what I'm saying? Because the person that asked this question that was banned once, which is why I'm going over it before Madden 19 starts, he, he just watched the video and he saw that it was being promoted and he just thought that it was all good. He's a young kid. You know what I'm saying? Kids are very impressionable. But don't get it twisted to think that it's only young kids that are doing this. Because I've had full-grown adult males... Like, like full grown, bro, like old, get scammed. And, you know, like, I'm buying some coins right quick. They get scammed and they get banned. That's like a double woofoo. Bro, I don't know if that's a word, woofoo. But it's crazy. Like, can you imagine that? You go and you buy coins, right? You get your coins. I mean, you don't get your coins. And then EA thinks that you still got the coins and you get banned anyway. And you get scammed. Like, bro, it's like, re yo, this is the things that happen. Now, when it comes to legitimacy and all that stuff like that, I don't have any comment on that because I don't deal with it. So, you know, if you guys are doing it, you don't have to talk about it in the chat because people will notice it and then, you know, it becomes a situation where they're like, oh, yeah, that guy is the guy that buy coins and then, you know, you could technically be getting watched. So I don't recommend writing anything about that in the chat. This is solely for you to understand that Madden, there's a new year of Madden upon us, right? And they're putting so many different things into place to monitor what everybody is doing. It's like camera phones, bro. You can't do anything now in the modern day and not be on the internet. So you got to be very careful with everything you're doing or you'll become a meme or you'll be right there on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Same thing with this, bro. So if you want to enjoy the longevity of the year, not risk an auction house ban, not risk you know, getting perma banned from the actual EA servers and having to get another PlayStation and stuff like that, you're going to want to be very, very careful with this. All right? So... This is what I recommend, all right? And this is what I've always recommended. Th that's why I give you guys a playlist that show you guys how to build your team, how to be, you know, 
logical when it comes to doing it to protect your account, never share your password, all that stuff. I, I don't care who you, bro, I wouldn't share with my pops. Like, I'm not sharing my password with my pops, bro. Like, I don't trust them, dog. Like, you got you guys have to think like that because that that helps to protect you because the, the least amount of people that know what, you know, how you log in and what you're doing, the better. And EA Sports, just so you know this, they will never ask you for your login information. And some people, some of the coin selling sites, they got to log in and do stuff into your account. I've, I've heard all of it, bro. I've heard all of the scamming. I've heard all of the shenanigans that go on. It's just not worth it. So now that I've told you that it's illegal, you're probably saying, Jemiah, all right, you told me not to do this. How do you recommend that I get coins, bro? Because I've been doing this. I've been buying coins. I've never been caught. Stuff like that. That's probably what some of you guys are saying. I've never been caught. So what's the big deal? Okay, what should I do if I don't want to uh, deal with that anymore? This is what you're going to have to do. On day one, you're going to log in. You're going to do solo challenges. Based on the solo challenges that I'm going to probably recommend that you do, we're going to get the most from it. What I mean from the most from it is the, is the most valuable cards that are available, whether they're not or whatever they are. We're going to get the most value for the cards, okay? From that, we're going to start to build our team logically. We're going to keep the cards that make sense. We're going to get rid of the cards that don't whether we quick sell them for training points and upgrade players that we already have or put them in the sets to create better players, okay? From that, if we have stuff left over, if they still have tokens or whatever they have that can be sold on the auction house for people to make playbooks, because keep in mind, you got to get playbooks, you got to get uniforms, you got to get all this stuff. People are going to need whatever type of currency that they have. If it's not tokens, badges, whatever it's going to be, that's what we're going to invest in. And we're going to take everything that EA gives us for free and make out with it. Now remember, a lot of you guys, like I keep telling you, have a lot better pack luck than I do. And because of that, your team is probably going to go faster than mine. But in the end, we're going to all end up with the same thing because we're going to all be grinding the same thing. And we're all going to be logical about how we, you know, how we approach it. It's all about approach because most guys will just tell you, bro, it's against the terms of service. Don't do it. And don't give you another way. I'm giving you another way. Grind with me. Learn the game with me. Understand what goes into the game to make you a better player. And you'll enjoy it a lot more than taking this road and not knowing what's going to happen after they start trying to, you know. Because remember, once they ban your account, you're on their watch list. So anything you do, any, you, you don't get the benefit of the doubt anymore. So why, why would you jeopardize that regardless of what you want to do? And like I said, this is not, if you guys are actually doing it, and you're getting away with it and everything is fine, don't leave a comment about it. That This is not for you. This is for the people that are going to be very impressionable and be like, yo, oh, snap, I could buy coins and not understand that it's against the terms of service, okay? So I'm giving everyone a warning, and I always try to make sure you guys understand anything that can make you not eligible to compete, because remember, if you get caught buying coins, you can't compete, and they're going to have a lot of money on the line this year. So remember that. You know what I'm saying? You can't compete. You can't do a lot of things, bro, and then you risk not being able to log in. It, it just really, it's really not worth it. So I, I just want you guys to like really double check what you're doing. Try to understand that there are other ways to solo, stuff like that. This, this playlist that I'm going to have specific for building your channel, I mean, for not for building your channel, for building your team, will be going on the entire year. In addition to my other playlist, where I will separate it in the draft champions, uh, mutt head to head, everything that I'll be doing will have a separate playlist. So you guys can either watch my gameplay or learn the game. So there's really no reason for you to go to any other mutt channel than this one right here. I want to thank you for watching. Have a good day. G Myers World. One love.